Hey guys. And that's who you call. My name is Money. And I'm Abby. And together we are the, the Modern Sings. Sings. Plus one very soon. We are so excited. We can't wait to meet you, baby Sing. 19th of April today. Yeah. And today is induction night. Um, the time I think is. Wow. Okay, it's only 7 p.m. But look outside, guys. Look at our A star view of the city. <laughs> and um, it looks like it's probably 10 p.m. But it's not 10 p.m. It is only 7 p.m. guys. So guys, I've been here since like 2 p.m. And right now we're just waiting because we'll probably be getting induced with baby sing. Because as you guys know, he's he's not been wanting to come out. So either within 24 hours or within 48 hours, he should be here. He should be here. Let's hope. Baby Singh is going to be here on the 19th or the 20th or maybe the 21st. So if you guys have a birthday then, Baby Singh shares the birthday with you guys. So that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll show you guys the room, yeah? Give them like a private little tour. <laughs> <The house> tour. <laughs> Hospital tour. So over here guys, we have these lovely curtains that kind of give us that privacy, you know, from that main door. We've got my beautiful wife right there. She's just enjoying her time, looking beautiful as always. So as you can see guys, baby sings heart rate and then the contractions going up and down. That's that wavelength that's just printing out at the same time, just making sure that's our heartbeat. And then you hear those whooshes, that's him moving. He likes to move. He, he's such a naughty child, eh? He is such a naughty child. He moves so much. <laughs> so we've got like our little sink here, guys, to wash hands, to make sure that we're all protected. We've got our gloves. We've got our hand sanitizer-ish. Then we've got like our cleaning wipes there. You know, it's a nice little ceiling that we've got. What is this, babe? I told you to pack one bag. I did. You've packed for like a honeymoon. Technically, you packed the other bags. Because you gave me the list of what you needed. <laughs> I was outside the car park waiting for her like message to tell me what's going on and she's like just go home go grab me a few things and then you'll be back later on tonight an induction process takes a lot longer than a natural birth so we may be here for like days so I wanted to make sure I was prepared so do you know what she got me to get her her hair straightener and a hair dryer yeah. you ain't gonna be straightening your hair or drying your hair I don't want no crazy hair Hospital <laughs> which I hear honeymoon then okay. It's a baby moon. Yeah. I wanna make sure he has everything he needs. The black one is his. And the blue one? Is mine. Do you want me to open the black one and show what you've got in there too? Abby's sweet mum has given us so many snacks as well so we're just we're probably going to end up getting so much fatter <laughs> you got to show off your designer bed oh yeah oh guys are you ready that is my bed it's so cool because it opens up from the wall and it falls down and then you can just put it right in the wall so it it saves space babe mm. they thought about it you know it's, convenient. it's very convenient and then they've got my lovely little chair recliner with wheels with wheels with wheels yeah so you can be close to me always that's it baby and then look at that my ac <laughs> my aircon but yes guys this is our hospital room straight ahead guys that's auckland city right there we've got the harbour bridge which i think is more that way on the left so unfortunate oh no wait okay uh okay i don't i actually don't know but i don't know is that way? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. So we have an IV line. Yep. Because once we start an induction, you need an IV because later on I'll probably have to have a drip. Uh, okay. Let's hope naturally. Baby, are you hearing? You're coming naturally, okay? <laughs> naturally. So now it's just the waiting game, guys. Um, we're going to wait for about four or five hours uh, to see what the nurse says. Like, you know, are we going to go into labor anytime soon? Um, so she told us to go for a walk try and bring on labor and also get some rest try get some sleep and maybe eat some more pineapples <laughs> Do you have but, no i didn't bring any baby <laughs> maybe because we've been doing a lot of those you know walks pineapples bangada spicy food i've been having hot baths 
I've been doing raspberry leaf tea, you name it. Mm. I've been doing it. So maybe that's caused, you know, you to get into the stage. <laughs> so, I'm not saying that we are doctors and our theory worked, <laughs> but I'm just saying. It's suspicious. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Breathe, baby. <laughs> It's not like a joke, he's just moving. It's a basket, basket. Inhale. <laughs> Ow. Exhale. <laughs> Oi, kutea, harja. Don't call me kutea. That means. <laughs> I know what it means. What does it mean? It's a dog. Nay, kuta means my love. Okay, mera kuta. Is that what I should call you? Basket, okay. I love That's you. That's what I thought. I love you too, baby. One thing I can say guys is when you have Indian family, <laughs> they come together nicely man. Mere sare chachi ji, pua ji, chacha ji, fuffar ji, sare, sare nu pata lagya ki asi hospital vich te ho sare ikatthe hoye hoye ne. Khana vagaira sara bhejya, bahut badhiya lagya. Dekho guys. Oh my gosh, they gave me. My mom gave us snacks. Now we got more snacks. We got more snacks. We got some ras. We got more up and goes. Up, oh nice. Some biscuits, some biscuits, cha, oh my gosh. pani. I think we have enough food to last us like weeks in here. This is like a fancy <laughs> as hotel for us right now, baby. <laughs> we got so much. But Rajma chol biya. Babe, I'm excited for some cha though. I cannot wait. <laughs> that is funny. Sweet ass guys, so I'm gonna have my late dinner. It's it's 10 p.m. Oh my God, I have not eaten now. since I think midday once, you know. We knew about baby sing and it's 10 p.m. now and I realize that I'm really hungry but then again I'm not super hungry but I know I should eat so I'm just gonna have a bite now yeah but yes guys we're enjoying our evening so far before the labor pain hits we're just trying to keep calm enjoy each other's company and make sure that we we're happy you know that's all we can do right now so we can't wait for baby sing it's now 1 a.m. in the morning and our midwife has come in and Abby's got another monitor checkup is it? Yeah. Just to see how baby Singh is doing and everything's going to plan. How are you feeling baby? I'm sore. The pains have started. As you can see you know when it gets higher and then back to lower it's just the contractions going up and down. Yeah, it's true guys. I fell asleep. I was so tired. I mean like no excuses because Abby's just been awake and more in pain than me. But yeah, I was watching a movie and I fell asleep. Good morning guys. Good morning. As you can see, it's a new day today. We're still in the same spot. We're in the same spot and baby is also back on the monitor getting checked up, making sure his heartbeat and his movements are okay. What the plans are for today is our midwife has come in in about maybe 30 minutes and she's gonna take us to the delivery ward and I think she's gonna get things started. Plan is that they wanna come and just break my waters because they don't wanna break on their own. And then we'll go from there. His heart's beating away, his movements are swaying away and you can hear it. And look guys, now you can see our view. <laughs> so not really much going on there. The city life is more towards that way. And we were right, the Auckland Bridge is more towards that way as well. But still, we got a nice decent view. The gown looks really beautiful on you though. Shut up. Brings out your eyes, you know, it's, it's very nice. Currently your hospital's property. Stress, don't worry baby. A little munchkin's gonna be here shortly. We've been upgraded to like the the labor board. We've got like the lights on the ceiling. I think that's where like the baby goes for like the examination once he's born. This is her cute bed for the night. Honestly guys, we're still like, what is he gonna look like? All of those feelings and, and we're just praying that everything goes well. I'm gonna make sure that I keep her calm, keep telling her to push and breathe and that I love her. So you guys will keep you guys updated. Um, looks like baby sing is gonna be here today. If not today, tomorrow definitely. But looks like it's today. Like you know, he's gonna be here today. It is the 20th of April and currently it's 9.20 a.m. in the morning. Make this easy for mama, okay? Yeah? Do you love mama? 
too much. He's too comfortable in there. That's why we gotta do all this. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been on the machine for about maybe two, three hours now and um, we don't know if it's working. Like the midwife looks a bit stressed as well. Um, we might be going into like a C-section, but anything to make sure our baby's okay. Yeah. You're okay. And yeah. He's a very stubborn one. He's a stubborn one. But you're so strong. Honestly guys, pregnancy is just another level. Respect your woman, respect any woman. Because they put their body through so much pain. It's it's unreal. You'll be seeing him shortly, baby. I know. You're a little prince. Mama's boy. He better be. <laughs> if he's a daddy's boy, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, when you're 16, 15, <laughs> baby sing, by then, like, you know, you guys will know his name, but when you're 15, 16, you better watch this back <laughs> and know the pain, you know, she went through for you. So become a doctor or an engineer or something. <laughs> no. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> They should be every like, I don't know. <laughs>